What's up everybody? I'm Chad and I'm here today at Stokes Volkswagen in beautiful North Charleston. There's a guy named Kevin. He's like the regional rep and he said, Chad, he said, I watch your videos. I like what you're doing. He's like, can you do me one favor? And I said, well, what's that, man? He said, Chad, spend a little time with the GTI and show people online what this car is all about. He's like, we need to sell more GTIs. He's like, down here in the southern, southeast region, we're just not selling enough GTIs. So obviously over in California and you know the, the western states and all that, I guess there seems to be more GTI sales than right here on the southeast. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get up off this ground and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at two different GTIs right here and see what's so cool about these cars that that a lot of people do rave about and when you have a car show it seems like a lot of GTIs pull up. Alright, so let's get the ball rolling and get started. So the first one here, right here, this silver one, this is a GTI S. The white one is a GTI SE. So what does that tell you for some of y'all new Volkswagen people watching the video, maybe never owned one before, your S is right there and then the SE is a next level or trim level up. Your SE is going to have leather interior, it's going to have a glass sunroof up top, it's nice. The S, no roof, no leather, but a kick butt plaid seating on the inside. So that really just depends on which one you like best. Let's go ahead and take the camera off of um, manual focus and let's put it on autofocus so we make sure we get everything nice and clean and trim for you on the video. Um, what I like to start out with is starting to get a little dark outside. Doesn't get really pitch black until about 8.30. Right now it's around 7 o'clock. You're going to notice on your S for 2017, you just got halogen headlights on both sides, okay? Down in the bottom grill though, you do have your LED lighting. I know it's hard to see now, but you can tell that the halogen has more of a yellowish kind of color and your HIDs have more of a white color. Now I'm pretty sure those are H, or not HID, LED, okay? Pretty sure those are LED. I do not think they're putting xenon bulbs down in this bottom fog light there, right? And I do like it. It looks really aggressive on the front. Let's look at the SC, okay? Now you're going to notice here, this one definitely a lot more put into it. You got this nice little LED light strip that goes kind of around under there. You got a projector headlamp there. Again, I'm not sure if that's a LED lighting setup behind the projector, but you do got a nice projector bulb. And then that is LED right there. If you can, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit with this wide angle lens. You can tell there's an LED right there. And then those, of course, are LED down in the bottom. So definitely on your headlights, going with the SE model, you're definitely getting a better headlight configuration there. And I just like how the red kind of rips through here and then rolls right on into that headlight. That's pretty sweet. One thing you'll notice with Volkswagens, really on these types of cars like this, they pay attention to the fine details when putting them through the production line and designing them. I mean, even to the colors, the wheels, all that stuff. So as you can see, I'm not sure what the name of that is, but to me that's a five-star wheel that looks like it's in motion with a machine face and a black, kind of a shiny black on the insides. And both wheels are exactly the same on both trim levels of car, right? Mirrors, look at them. Both have your lights right there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you will notice, again, like I said earlier, no sunroof. Sunroof, not a panoramic glass sunroof going all the way to the back, okay? It's already a small car as it is, but it is four door in size. Now let's go ahead and move around to the back and look back here, see what the differences are. So again, that's your S does have dual exhaust in the back if you can see that yep pretty looks pretty exactly the same on this one here I wish they wouldn't park these cars right up under the trees though but uh, yeah the rear end no difference at all that I can see other than color I mean even back here this is the same that's the same same right over here okay so that's really about it on the outside of the car other than you know the badge or whatever maybe saying something different. There's also a, also a major difference too, is pricing, okay? On your S model, let's take a look. That's where it starts at, at $26,695. When you have your manufacturer's added on options, it comes out to be $27,835. Can you see that? 
27, 835. 32 highway, 24 city, 27 average combined. 2.0 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve turbo engine, right? Let's go see if there's any difference. Definitely gonna be a difference in price right off the get-go, that's noticeable. 30,995, add on your extra options, 33,130. So that's a pretty substantial price increase on there. 32, 24, 27, exact same engines, exact same fuel economy. So really with your SE, it's more upgrades with the interior seating and all that kind of stuff. Now over here, this is a whole nother beast, okay? Which is a separate video at another time. That is your R-Line and my goodness, that's like a little race car, all wheel drive, ready to go. And you know what, I will walk right around it real quickly here because it's definitely well worth taking the time to look at. I mean, different wheels, as you can see. Rear end's about the same, but then at the bottom down here, you're getting quad exhaust pipes down on the bottom. And let me tell you, if you haven't heard a R-Line car like this, my goodness, I mean, the sound sounds so good. So throaty, gurgly sound. It's just got a nice sound to it when going down the road. Backup sensors, there's actually a backup camera that kind of boom, pops right out of there when you put it in reverse, which is kind of sweet, okay? Still getting leather interior, all that good stuff. But again, four motion, all wheel drive. And your headlights are definitely a difference because you'll notice here, there's this cool looking LED light bar that's rolling right on down there that gives it that mean, aggressive look at nighttime or during the daytime when you're cruising. Like, hey, get out the way. I'm gonna eat you, you raccoon, okay? So looking good. And there's a lot more stuff on it than just what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, I can't go over every single little thing today. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior real quick and show you some of the things that stand out to me. Well, first off, this one is just wild with the plaid. I mean, check it out. If you're a guy like myself and you like getting dressed up and looking kind of fancy, well, you might like this interior right here. This is fancy. It really is. Okay, real leather wrapped up onto the steering wheel. Got, still got your paddle shifters. All that good stuff. Nice looking display screen. Heated seats, driver passenger side. One thing I'm gonna show you in the back that I really like that Volkswagen does is they put rear air vents in the back, even on small cars like this, because they know people riding in the back want to um, have some cool air on them. So there's that. Pretty sweet, liking the plaid. I really do, I don't know. I, many years ago, I seen the plaid interior and I was like, man, that's nice. And I also like those uh, pedals down on the bottom down there. Can't leave those out, that's pretty sweet. Both cars running, both cars pretty quiet for the most part. I mean, what new car in 2017 is gonna be loud just sitting there running? Probably something like a supercar, something like that. But anyways, those are probably even kind of quiet. Okay, now this is a def definitely change up right off the get-go on your seats. Beautiful leather interior. That's definitely no pleatherette or leatherette. I mean, that's a nice leather seat with nice stitching. And I mean, to me, it looks like it's even built a little better with the side bolsters and everything just kind of thicker and come up a little more. Um, your steering wheel, you're also gonna have the stitching right in here. On the other car, didn't have the stitching right there. For the most part, dash is about the same. Still heated seats and all that, push start buttons, you know, all that good stuff. What else am I gonna look for though? Let me show you. Still got the pedals down there on the floor. I always like to check to see if they add LED lighting on the interior, and yes, Volkswagen did it on this one. Now, I cannot tell you why in the world did they not add LED lighting on the Atlas. You got those amazing LED headlights, and then they just dropped it off on the interior and gave us that. Do not understand. They didn't give us that right there. They gave us that. That weird looking color. I want to point out another thing real quickly, and all Volkswagens have this, but not a lot of people touch on this. Now I want you to, I'm going to zoom in, I want to see if y'all can see this windshield, how dirty it is. A little bit tough to see, isn't it? Not a very clean windshield though. I mean, it's, the car's not filthy dirty, but it's got a dust kind of right over, right over it, okay? Their wiper systems are the bomb. I mean, they are, I mean, they got pressure PSI coming out of there. Watch this. Look at that. I mean, look at that. 
And the other thing, which you don't notice on most cars, you can definitely tell, it's clean now. Look at that. I can smell the soap coming right on through. You can smell it coming in. You know you got a clean windshield now. How about that? What other car brand can you smell the soap coming in? I like that. That's the little things you don't realize. I mean, I'm riding down the road in my Volkswagen and you can smell the soap. <laughs> Laugh with me a little bit, folks. The other thing I can tell you, all right, here's the other thing with that water pressure coming out like that. Today I'm on the interstate driving. There's a Chevy Cruze behind me with a blonde headed girl driving. She is all up on my bumper. And let me tell you, it's bumper to bumper traffic at five o'clock on the interstate while I'm on the way up here. And um, she's, I mean, she's nailing it right on my bumper, okay? That drives me insane. I don't like it. I'm like, what is your rush, okay? There's piles and piles of cars. I mean, why are you on my tail like that, right? What do I wanna do? I wanna cut the wipers on and spray her butt down, okay? Get her little Chevy Cruze all soapy and dirty, right? Well, tell me, let me tell you, with a Volkswagen, that right there, oh, you can guarantee she's getting wet tonight, okay? So that's a plus, loving it. Thank you, Volkswagen. Thank you, Volkswagen. You can guarantee that one. So, pretty nice little setup here. Still heated seats, any dad cooled seats in here. It's too hot down in the Carolinas to not have cooled seats. All right, so that's kind of concluding what we got going on right now. I just briefly wanted to roll through on these cars and let y'all see them. Still got your traditional key. No remote start. Um, very beautiful cars though. All I can tell you, the next thing is, is test driving it. The GTI is like a crotch rocket with four wheels. It really is. It's fun to drive. I can't advise you that enough. If you enjoy spirited driving, easy to park and park in spots, um, good looks, style, grace, nice lighting, good looking wheels, a good warranty, a nice car that holds its value and you look cool owning it, okay? And also, I mean, come on, Volkswagen is a part of Porsche, which is a part of Bentley, Lamborghini, Bugatti, all that cool stuff, right, okay? So you're going under the umbrella of some awesome car brands out there, okay? Can't advise that enough. Come on down to Stokes VW, stokesvw.com, test drive a new GTI. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. I do a bunch of Volkswagen videos. I really do enjoy t uh, filming these Volkswagens. And there's a few other brands I really do enjoy filming a lot. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.